Hello everyone and welcome back to Rice Fix and I'm meeting you after a long time guys hoping that all of you all are fine and the rainy season has started and the moment the rainy season starts Suzuki XS start giving problem it's not the same for all of you but some of the bikes really give problems in rainy season especially this bike all water went inside the air filter box so let's check the problem so guys this is the Suzuki XS which I am talking about and as you can see here this is the air filter box I have taken out the air filter already now in this air filter box there was lots of water which I have all taken out now but it is still wet as you guys can see and there was water in this small box as well and in the big box also there was lots of water and if you see through this gap here that is the tire when you ride your bike in the rains or in water and when that tire rotates it brings along with it high pressure water and it falls on the air filter box now if your box has a hole or if your top cover has not been fitted properly or have not sealed properly then the water can easily enter this air filter box now without opening this box how you can check that water has entered this box that i will show you now but first we'll check what happens to the bike when water enters the air filter box so come on let's start the bike So as you have seen here, if water enters your air filter box, then if you race the bike, it will not take the pickup. If you are riding it slowly, then you can still ride it. But if you try to race it, then bike will start to fall off. Similar to when the carburetor gets dirty, that time also the similar thing happens. So you will get that same feeling but the difference is if the carburetor is dirty your bike will fall off completely but here your bike will not go off completely but it will misfire. So on that you should come to know that air intake in the carburetor is not proper. Now I will show you how to check without opening the bike if water is entering your air filter box. So here I have come down now as you can see here on the side of the kick you will see the air filter box. Now on the air filter box you will see a valve like thing as you can see here it is covered with a cap. Now if you want to check if there is water in the air filter box then you will have to open this it will have a metal ring like this so take a plier and slide the ring down so here comes out my ring then take a screwdriver and pry out this cap now do it in a relaxing way don't break the box or put a hole in the box trying to remove this if it is not coming out then use a bigger screwdriver and take it out like this so here comes out my cap now as you can see here it is slightly wet it is because water had entered this box and i have taken it out but no water has come out through the valve which means that there is no water in this air filter box if it did not come out like this then see that you take the bike off the stand and move it a little bit and check if water is coming out from the air filter box because sometimes the water is on the other side but if there is too much water then it will immediately start to flow out on that you know that in your air filter box water enters your air filter box now before putting the cap back see that you clean the valve properly this was very dirty now inside the cap also if there is any mud and all and see that you clean that this is actually a transparent cap actually you should not even remove this cap by looking at this cap only you should come to know that there is water in the box but sometimes dust goes inside this cap if your air filter is too dirty or there is a hole in the air filter because of which the dust entered the box and it got settled in this cap so clean it properly and put it back once you put it back put back the ring that you had taken out so this was one place where you can check if there is water in the air filter box now there is one more place that you will have to check so let's go there now so now you will have to come on the other side and when you come on this side you will notice that there is a pipe here which is connected to the air filter box now on this pipe also there will be a similar cap now if water enters your small compartment in the air filter box then you can remove this cap and check it this also will have a similar ring remove the ring like how you had taken out from the previous cap so here comes out my ring and on this side also pry out the cap now be extremely careful here this pipe should not come out from the socket if you do any mess here then water will start to enter inside your air filter box now this pipe also you will have to check properly now how to replace this pipe I have already done a video on that I will put a link of that video in the end screens you can later go and check that video out because many a times this pipe is broken and there is a big hole in it and that is the reason why water enters your air filter box so see that you check that pipe properly if the pipe doesn't have any hole in it then where this pipe gets connected to the air filter box there is supposed to be a part there that I have shown in the other video if that part is missing then also water can enter your air filter box so here comes out my cap and as you have noticed that no water flowed out from the box. 
which means that there is no water in the box. Now you will notice that in this cap there is water. This was accumulated before I took out all that water. Now this cap also clean properly and move the bike like this to check if water is flowing out. If water is not coming out, it means that there is no water entering your air filter box and your problem is something else. Now where the cap sits, that, way, that valve also you clean properly and put back the cap. So if water is entering your air filter box, then like this you can check it without even opening the bike. If water comes out from here, then your doubt is clear that water enters in your air filter box. Now what to do next that I will show you now. So guys, if you also have a Suzuki XS and you are having that same problem, then see that you comment below and let me know and we'll see how many people are facing the same problem. So guys, the rainy season is nice and your commuter should be dependable in this rainy season. So subscribe to my channel and support me so that I can support you in a better way by bringing more videos and more repair videos so that your life will get easy. I know you guys watch the videos but you don't subscribe. If you subscribe, it is completely free, it will support me. So if you want to support me, please subscribe to my channel. So guys, now you know the problem, now let's solve the problem. So without any further ado, let's fix the problem of this bike. So this is my new air filter which I have bought from the service center. This is the original air filter and it comes with these two rubber gaskets. It has cost me 200 rupees. Now what to do about these gaskets that I will show you now. As you can see here, this is the air filter box cover. Now inside this, there will be this gasket. Now take this old gasket out completely. And once you take that out completely, get the new gasket which you have got with the new air filter. That gasket you will have to put now here. Now just note from where I am starting to put the gasket on the cover. If you start to put this where the small compartment is, then there are chances that water will leak inside through there. That is the reason why. Just keep a note on where I have started to put the gasket. Now this gasket is slightly pressed but that's all right see that you put it in place properly now don't do this in a haste do it in a relaxed manner and once you are done putting this gasket in position then sometimes it will look as if it is extra like how mine has happened here or it can fall short if it is falling short then you will have to pull it and press inside and if it becomes extra like this then you will have to push it and adjust it till it fits nicely as you have seen here how i have adjusted it and once you adjust it properly you can see here that it has reached the entire cover so here i'm done putting back one gasket now on this part is the small compartment of the air filter box if you start to put the gasket from here then there are chances that water can seep inside that's why i have started from the other side now you will have to come near the air filter box where the air filter sits now under that you will notice that there is also a rubber gasket this gasket you will have to take out now completely so here comes out my gasket and the new one which you have got with the new air filter that you will have to put in now here this gasket also just note from where i am starting to put it so that it will nicely get sealed now this gasket will be slightly shorter than the other gasket the shorter gasket gasket you should put here and the longer one you should be putting on the cover now in the same style you should adjust this gasket as well so once you adjust this gasket now comes the important step take a little amount of grease and apply the grease on the place where air filter will sit or where you have put the gasket so apply it nicely i am doing this because i want my air filter fitting to be sealed pack even if the water enters the small compartment then it should not enter the big box but remember before putting this bag check your box properly if there is any hole in the box box or if the box is cracked somewhere then you can't do all these things you will have to replace the entire box so before putting anything back see that you check the box thoroughly if there is any hole or crack in it once you are done applying the grease now put back your new air filter put it in position and put back the four screws once you put back the four screws see that you apply some grease here as well so that if there is a gap here then it will block the water from going into the bigger compartment so here I am done putting back my air filter. Now still there is one more important step. Now if your air filter box is new, you can just put the cover back and put back the screws and your work will be done. But my scooter is old. I have tried doing that but still the water is entering the compartments. So here I will use a tri-bond which is a liquid gasket and this is the tri-bond tube. Before using the tube, see that you mix it inside the tube well like how I am doing here because you don't know how long this tube has been sitting in the shop. So if you want good results, see that you mix it well inside the tube itself this is called as a liquid gasket so get a tube like this you even get many other types of liquid gaskets you get tubes like this those also you can use in my market i got only this so i bought this once you apply this you will not have a tough time removing 
using it because this is a liquid rubber if you pull it it will come out easily now this you will have to apply all around where you have put in the new gasket so fill it in nicely like how i have done here and once you are done filling see that you apply a little amount where you will put your screws so that even if there is a hole near the screw area it will get sealed so once you are done applying there come near the bike and on the air filter box where your cover will sit there also apply this dry bond once you are done applying this all around get your cover on which you have already applied the dry bond and place it in position once you place it in position put back all the six screws and tighten them properly once you tighten them properly whatever liquid gasket remains in the tube apply it all around where there is gap between the cover and the box and allow it to dry so now come on let's start the bike and see what type sound is coming now now as you have noticed that the sound is coming proper now which was obvious but the main thing is water should not enter the box Now after this repair I have ridden this bike a lot in water in heavy rains and water has not entered my box so you can definitely try this hack so guys I'm hoping that this video was useful to you if you like this video then see that you like and share with your friends and family and if you are not yet subscribed to my channel then see that you subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon so that you will not miss any of my future videos till then this is Raishan Fernandez signing out and till we meet again